Hey, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show my nighttime to daytime routine. Um, and this is basically what I do almost every night. Um, so first I would like to say I'm trying on a new lens. So sorry if you hear the clicking in the background. My apologies. But um, I just wanted to show what I do at night, which I already did last night, but I'm gonna show you how I refresh it in the morning. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump in. So step one is always, always, always wearing a bonnet or a scarf or something to just protect my hair. Because if your hair is not protected, then there's no reason for you to even be trying to put it up. Um, so this is almost equivalent to wrapping. So you know how everybody used to, well, a lot of people used to get perms or relaxers used to wrap their hair um, and then you turn the scarf and then you can take it down and your wrap will kind of fall right into place you would just kind of comb it out that's basically this is the equivalent of doing a wrap basically so it's gonna look crazy but i just have all these little ponytails everywhere now the reason they look so I guess a little indifferent because it's kind of incorporating banding your hair and putting them in a ponytail for the night. So the key is to put them at places where they can fold. So how this can fold over, this can fold over, this can fold over. Because when you're laying down at night, you don't necessarily want it to smush it. You want it to fold when you lay down. So that's the reason why you have to kind of position it and position it loose. It's not tight to my scalp. It's pretty loose, so that way it can go ahead and fold either way it needs to go. And so then when you're putting it in, you would start at the root or a little further away from the root. You can even hold it like this and then start here. And then as you put on your rubber band, or not your rubber band, but as you put on your hair tie, you wanna be working your way down. So I'm gonna show you in this one what that looks like. So when you're putting it into the ponytail holder, what you would do is bring it out and you're gonna put it all together. And I will put my ponytail holder kind of close to it and then I just back it up, bring it down. And then I start. And you work your way down and then you make sure you just leave out your curls. So this way your hair is being stretched but your curls aren't being affected. So that is what I do at night and then put on my bonnet. Um, so for this, I always wear a bonnet. I don't wear a scarf because the scarf will kind of smash it. So now you can see that my hair kind of stayed into those forms of the ponytails. So what I'm gonna do is just fan it out all over. You can kind of try to shake it out, but my hair is kinky, so I have to forcefully move it. So then I go in with my pick just to separate out those lines that were created. still see it still has great definition so we still have the definition there which is great and like I said my hair sometimes needs to be forced to do something so because this was back in a ponytail I'm just gonna put a bobby pin here just for probably the remainder of the video and then I can take it out because it will lay. But that might be the only one that I need. Then sometimes you can have a little dent like this so you can either blow it out or just like try to pick around that area to fluff it out a little more so that it doesn't have that dip from the ponytail holder. Same for this side. I'm just gonna try to fluff it out. And that is my night to morning routine. That's exactly what I do. 
most of the time every night unless obviously my hair is in like a protective style or if it's in a different style to where this won't work like sometimes i literally just throw on my bonnet and that's more so when i know i'm about to put it in a puff the next day i don't really need too much stretch or i don't need to necessarily worry about how uniform it looks because it's just gonna go into a puff but today i still wanted to wear it out so this is how it turns out the next day like I said, like some places might have a little frizz, but that more than likely happened from just my days of wearing it. Not necessarily from how I slept. Or me being a little rough on my hair when I pick it out. I'm not the most <laughs> I'm not the most gentle when I'm picking out my hair. I like to like get in there, get it picked out, and get it done. So I would be very gentle with your hair. Even though I just got that. But yes, yeah, so I would be gentle with your hair. And then just play around with it. Make sure you get it to your liking. But also knowing the more you play around with it, the more frizz you're prone to have. And you don't want that. So I would just try to be careful with that. And this is me just trying to force my hair to come down once again without a bobby pin. Just, yeah, just trying to get it to come where I want it to go. And like I said, I can take this out now because it's going to stay because my hair knows now to go down. And that's it. So that is as easy as it can be for when you are doing your style and you want to make sure that it lasts for the next day because it is a pain when you do a cute style and then you think you're doing something by throwing on your bonnet and then the next day your hair is matted and you can't deal with it and then it just automatically has to go into a puff because you don't know what else to do with it. This will help you to keep your style and even help you to refresh your style if you need. Another way is you can twist it up. I don't necessarily like to twist it on day two, day three, but maybe like day four, I may do a little twist situation and you can just lightly refresh your hair um, with water. And that's a very light mist. I really like using the Kiva Do instead of doing like a spray bottle because the spray bottle will saturate it too much. So doing the Kiva Do plus you get a little bit of a stretch in there as well. Then do some bigger chunks, um, like do some chunky twists all over. And then you have a basically a whole new style from the same products and the same hair. So there's a few ways that you can go about it. Just depends on what day you're on and where you're at and what you want to do with your hair from there. But this is just one of the ways that I like to keep up with my hair. I don't know what this is doing. It looks like kind of like a little alfalfa. Let's cut her down and now. But yes, so this is how I like to refresh my hair in the morning, make sure that everything is okay, make sure everything is in place right before I go. So that's all for me. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.